Right, today I am relocating this uh, consumer unit. Um, and go, this is gonna be a wall here. I'll show you actually. So this is gonna be, there's a bathroom uh, behind there. And they're making it bigger so they can fit in a shower. It's for some pensioners. Um, and they want to make it a little bit more accessible, so they're going to have a, um, a shower down here. So this is where the consumer unit currently is, and as you can see, I've gently channeled away the uh, the wall. This, that there, if you can see that, that was a nail, which was part of this shelf, and obviously being pierced through that shelf, I've, I have tugged on it a little bit. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's looks like it's missed the neutral. It looks like there's a the black there. Looks like it's just knit, just on the grey sheath. Anyway, um, all the way up to the ceiling. I've just notched out that joist at the top there. I don't know if you can see it. Just notched it out up there. Um, and I'm gonna pass the cables through. And then down here, I'm gonna put a hundred by hundred. Oh, hang on. Let me go. There. there. I'm gonna do a hundred by fifty trunking down and then mount the board probably somewhere, but well, this is all going, but I'll put the board about there, just above that, so that door height, just at the top there. Um, now, I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick test. I already have done it, but I'll do it just to show you. Um, I mean, the board is moving regardless of what the results are. <laughs> so, um, 250, yeah, 250, um, lock it on. Cool. Main thing is neutral to CPC, so I'm going to go to the neutral bar and the MET, and hopefully. What have we got? 1.6 something mega ohms. So there may be something going on there. All right, disconnect the circuit. I mean, like I said, it's, it's happening regardless of what I do, so um, I just got whether I have a headache now or, or, or later. So. I might drop out some neutrals and see where it's coming from. <clears throat> so you, you probably can't see, but I've disconnected the neutral conductors from the ring final, which actually I, I will check it's the ring final. I've not done that yet. No, it dramatically increases to 25 something mega ohms. So it's probably on there. Now I haven't gone round and un unplugged anything yet. So it might be that something's plugged in. Uh, or switched on. <coughs> um, and I'll do the ring final test actually while I'm here. So yeah, regardless of like what the results are, this is happening anyway. So I've told the customer that if there's any issues, they'll need rectify them before it can uh, before it can get uh, signed off, and they're happy to go ahead with any remedial work. Um, and I've seen a couple of things as I've wandered around anyway. So um, let's do the ring final check. Check is a ring. or I go any further. Couple of little pre-checks basically. Insulation resistance, neutral to MET, and uh, ring final. Couple of like quick pre-board checks you can do. Normally I like to do an EICR beforehand, but like I said, this is happening regardless of what, what we do. It's gotta be moved because they're, they're, they're building, they're making a, a shower here. Um, we can know the leads. There we go. All right. That's a good sign. Not point four zero, something like that. Only because I brought a 32. When I came to quote, I brought a 32 RCBO. And I just want to check. Otherwise, I'll need to go and get a 20. I should have bought a 32 and a 20, to be honest, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I just sent off the materials list. Good sign, about settle a bit, about the same. And then the CPCs, it is, uh, you can't see this, but it's that one there, and that one there. So, CPC, CPC. Ooh. 
Now it's not bad actually. Off the top of my head, that's probably there or thereabouts. Cool. So, in safe resistance, I know I've got something going on on the socket circuit. That might be something plugged in or a fuse spur, it might be a boiler or something like that. Um, but the rest of the, the, the insulation is pretty good. We've got, I know it says green goo on the cooker cable, so I will individually test that when I put it in the new board. Um, and the ring final is good, so I can just crack on. It's always set around the back. I'll show you what I did or what was here when I came, and I'll show you what's here now. So the original plan was they were going to move the consumer quite far away. It was going to be something like five or six meters away over, over here somewhere. Um, so I said, yeah, not a problem. We need a switch fuse. I use some armored cable, not a problem. Um, so I've got all that with me. And then I turn up today and they've had a meter upgraded and they've had an isolator fitted. Um, before it was like one of those really old black ones, single phase ones, they're like tiny, they're about that big. So I thought, oh, smash in a switch fuse here, armor cable at the bottom and round and up. So <laughs> didn't know that was gonna happen. Um, so very quick change of plan this morning. Um, I'm going to reduce the length of the cable. I told the client, oh, I can't move it where you wanna go because <clears throat> I can't install a switch fuse. Etc. Etc. Just won't fit in there. Oh, you can get some smaller ones. I think Wilex are quite small. You could probably squeeze in there. Um, so I suggested to them, right, let's move it. We can't move it more than three meters, and so that's why it's going to go above that door, just below the door frame. It was going to go further along that way. So, um, which is about one, two, well, that's two and a half meters, something like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep all this in place. Let's see. I'll lock it off in a minute. <laughs> it's only me in here. Um, I'm going to put an adapter box here and then glam the, uh, the armored cable into the bottom. So I've oh, let's turn this over. Um, did a little bit of a couple of pre-board tests. Um, I've channeled it out. I'm going to take this all out now. I've done a little notch there. I'm going to put a safe plate in its place along there, bring it down here with my trunk in and then mount the board here. I've taken this board off because like I said, they're building this wall. I think it's Wednesday they're coming to do it. So I've taken this because it's in my fucking way. Um, the gas is down below my dust sheet there, and that's going to be moved. Um, I think that's moving Wednesday. So I'm going to come back to bond that. Um, and I've got to bond the water as well. But I'll probably do that when I come back. So yeah, let's just get this across, get it tested. Um, and then I'll come back to do all the other stuff, all the bonding and any remedial work that comes in when I do the testing once I've moved the board. Um, like I said, normally I do it the other way around, but this time... I'm doing it this round because it's moving regardless of what of, of what the outcome is. Right, new trunking down, consumer unit mounted. Just going to load up all the RCBOs. Well, I'll put away all the CPCs first, and then I'm going to um, load up all the RCBOs. Uh, terminate all the lines and neutrals. I'll probably space them out, and then they do want a shower supply, electric shower supply, when this gets built. Um, so I've got a fuse for it somewhere, so I'll pop it in, but I won't do anything to it. I'll cable that later. The main thing is to get the board on, um, the rest of the house tested and, um, yeah, so basically get the board on and then basically perform an ICR and any, like I'll type it all up and any remedial work I'll do probably before I come back to the shower. So yeah, that's all in. It's all going to get, uh, re-skimmed and boarded. Like I said, there's got a new wall here. So I'll, um, crack on with that and see you in a sec. Forgot to, I forgot to show you pre-board check. Um, there's two lighting circuits, so you go to the neutral of one uh, circuit conductor and the line of another one. Flick switches. It should stay like this. If it registers dead short, you know you have some kind of borrowed or shared neutral. I've got another video or a highlight which you can find out where I explain about it more. But that's another test to do pre-board change. So on this job, I've just relocated the board less than three meters. So I've not put a switch fuse in because I couldn't fit it in. But I've had to use armor cable because I couldn't do anything on the inside because behind this wall is the bathroom. Um, so round up through. And then in here, I've just come straight down 
I think I'm about there. And then it's less than three meters. So I come down and I terminated it in the back, in the top there. Um, and then that's the, the gland is armored, is earth there. Um, yeah, just a bit of an awkward one. I, I, can, I can't use tails, you know. And I don't, and I don't agree with running cables in cavity. Never have done, never will do. But, um, yeah. Right, a couple more little tests to do. Everything's back on. That one there's going to be the shower. A couple more tests to do. Then it's time to go home. I want to tidy up. <laughs> Where's the apprentice when you need one? Right, the majority of the testing are done. Written it down on a scrap bit of paper. Because <laughs> if you didn't do it, did you even test it? <laughs> um, I've still got to come back on Wednesday to do the water protective bond and the gas protective bond. They're moving it from there to here. So I might come out with conduit or drill out go on external and then back in again and the water is round in the kitchen which is down under there somewhere the main stop cock um so i'm gonna run uh i'm gonna run externally from i'm gonna come out where my armor was come up and come along here it's a bit of an annoying run but i can't go inside i might drop down and then go along and then somewhere there is the under the cupboard couple of issues uh, loads of cpc sleeving missing as standard in old places this wasn't one of them where they come off with a bit of flex and fed round and fed a couple of lights but it's just uh not it's incorrectly sized cable um for the protective device that one and then i saw somewhere in uh, one of the bedrooms where they've done the same thing where they got an extension lead chop the plug off but wired it directly into the back of the socket and then there's like a six gang extension lead off of it so only a couple of minor issues i said they're sleeping once you get the gas and the water bond in it'll be all done it is old now surprisingly uh the green goo on the cooker cable completely clear or pretty much 770 and nine over 999 mega ohms between live and neutral and a neutral and earth and um uh live and cpc sorry so that's good. I'll just tell them. Of course, it's not going to get any better. It's just going to continually deteriorate. Um, but that's what regular inspection and testing should highlight. I've noted it down. So next time, if it's me or someone comes to test, they've got the results. Um, same as the other ones. All pretty good. Um, yeah. So I've just got to label up now. Uh, let it label up and put the lid up. And then, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of days' time to get some water. Bonding, protective bonding. <coughs> I must say, it really, it really upsets me. I've got three different sizes of sleeving because it's uh, the old stranded CPCs. The only ones that had solid were the two lighting circuits, the immersion and the sockets and the cooker was all the stranded. So I've got some big stuff, four mil and then two mil. <laughs> it really upsets me. <laughs> but will I sleep tonight? Fuck yeah. <laughs> right, just two final bits of labeling. Now, I've gone for Verso, like everyone uses, has their own like brand. Um, unlike other people, I don't get sent shit, so I bought all this. Uh, it means I can say what I want about it, um, and it's pretty decent. It's a good, it's a good alternative to fuse box. Um, so, oh, stick these labels on. Um, and the wholesaler, there's only one wholesaler in Bristol who stocks Verso, and they happen to be five minutes away from this job. So I thought I'd go with them just in case I had any issues or problems, I can just whip on the corner. Um, yeah. 